Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Luca and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Luca's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Luca's been fitted with his own personal training collar and we will show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now Luca is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing, and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Luca take off doing that now, and the command that you're going to give is Luca heal, and you're going to start walking, and Luca should simply fall in line, healing appropriately on your left hand side. This means he should be keeping pace with you, and he should not be lagging behind or lunging ahead and pulling on that leash. If he is to do so, you tell him no, followed by a tug and release on the training collar, and repeat the command to heal. We've also gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into the healing exercise, which means anytime you're out walking with him and you stop, he should sit nicely. Great example right there. If he does not, again, tell him no, tug and release towards the rear on the correction collar and give the command to sit. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command and that's a hand and voice command. Use the open flat of your left palm in front of his muzzle and the one word command to stay and then walk out to the end of your training leash. Now Luca should remain seated in this position and should not break. You're going to want to practice this command very often with him to help, up, help build up his self control and maturity skills and enable him to sit and stay for longer periods of time. When practicing at home, start at 30 seconds and with his continued success, start to increase your intervals working up to a total of three minutes for your long sit stay. When Fred returns back, he's going to walk all the way around, behind, in a counterclockwise motion, returning so that Luca is directly on his left hand side once again. He gives him a little pet there. We use lots of positive reinforcement, whether it's verbal praise, telling him he's doing a good job, or physically praising him by giving him a little pet on his head or his belly there. But you want to make sure that you keep it motivating and fun for him by using positive reinforcement. And they're going to demonstrate that stay command for you again now. He'll give them a moment to hold it and then they're going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. And for this command you're going to call Luca in using his name in a friendly tone. He should get up and come in and sit directly in front of you. I'm going to shake it off first. There we go. <laughs> and he sits. Very good Luca. And we have an exercise called the finish where he returns around to heel position by healing around the right side, returning to your left side, sitting nicely and they'll demonstrate that again. So leave him in a sit stay, out to the end of the leash, call him in using his name in a friendly tone. He should get up and come in and sit directly in front of you and around the back on your right or behind you to your left hand side, sitting nicely. Good job, Luca. You want to make sure you're practicing your commands, both indoors as well as outdoors when Luca comes in. And at first you're going to pick an area with little to no distractions. And then once you're comfortable working him through his commands, you'll start to incorporate some distractions into your training sessions. Now the next command that they're getting ready to heal into position for is the first of our down commands and it's down from a heel position. Use the open flat of your left palm again, straight down towards the ground and the one word command to down. Then give that stay command again and walk out to the end of your leash. And of course with the down stay he should remain laying down in this position and should not break. Great command to practice often as well to help put up that ability to down stay. And same thing, start at 30 seconds and with his continued success, increase your intervals working up to a total of 5 minutes for your down stay. No. Well, he broke his down so this is a good example of how you would correct this. Go back to heel position. Put him back in the down, give that stay command. Again, he should not break from that position. And Fred's going to return back now. The first words out of your mouth are no, so that you can catch his attention and instruct him again into the appropriate command. Okay. 
You also want to make sure that although you're going to be incorporating your commands and practicing throughout the day in your everyday activities and schedule, set aside about 10 to 15 minutes every day to work them through his commands in a formal obedience training session such as this video. It's great practice for the both of you and will help greatly with the transition and learning his new rules in the house. So Fred leaves him in another down stay, and this time they'll demonstrate the recall command from the down position. Come. Luca gets up, on. comes on in. Oh. There we go. And around the back. Good job, Luca. And now they have one last command to demonstrate for us, and that's the second of our down commands, and it's the down from a distance. And for this command, what you're going to want to do is leave Luca in a sit-stay, walk out to the end of the leash, and from the end of the leash, use your right hand to give the down command. Down. And he should drop into the down right where he's sitting. Good boy. So we've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Luca has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Luca and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.